The following is a RackRadioShow.com exclusive. And welcome back to The Rack right here on WildTalkRadio.com. Brought to our friends over at Wrestling Figure Wednesdays. Go to YouTube.com slash MBG1211 for all your stop motion wrestling action figure needs. And the very fine folks over at Gerwick.net if you're listening to us over there. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you're listening to us either at RackRadioShow.com or WildTalkRadio.com, hello and thank you for joining us as well. If you're just tuning in, you tuned in at the opportune moment because joining us right now is one of the voices of the upcoming WWE Network series, Camp WWE, which premieres May 1st on demand on the WWE Network. Everybody, please help me welcome the fabulous Evan Michael Lee. How are you doing today? (laughs) I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing just fine. I'm super excited to be talking to you today because Camp WWE, it's a highly anticipated series on the WWE Network. I mean, it had to be cool to be a part of, right? It was very cool. I've been a huge wrestling fan since I was about five or six years old. So being on this show has sort of been like a full circle moment for me. That's awesome. Did you have any favorite wrestlers? Oh, I mean, yeah. Growing up, like, I was a big fan of, like, obviously, like, The Ultimate Warrior and, like, Mr. Perfect and, like, The Million Dollar Man and, you know, people like that. Like, obviously, like, Razor Ramon was one of my favorites. Like of all time. So it must have been cool then to to get to play Mark Henry. It was. It was. It was very cool. And that, he wasn't even the first one I auditioned for. That wasn't even the one they brought me in for. Uh, oh, they really? brought me in for Our Truth. So when I read for Our Truth, they were like, "Oh, well, you can you also read for Mark Henry?" And I <laughs> and I only had Our Truth in the back, so I didn't really have anything like prepared for Mark Henry. So I just kind of had to make a quick decision. And I guess they just really loved that one the most. And they just went with it, and you got the part. That's but, awesome. Yeah, it was. Well, it was kind of a long journey. I had to audition three times. Oh, um, wow. In the last. Yeah, I auditioned the first time in front of casting directors, and then they brought me in in front of Seth and uh, Aaron, and they were really, really nice and really, you know, fun to work with. And then they brought me in about a week later, a third time for Seth and Aaron, and then I got um, a phone call saying that um, that I didn't get it. So it mm. was kind of like, oh, that yeah, it was kind of like, oh, that's disappointing, you know, because I would have been, you know, really fun to be a part of this. And then like, as life goes on, like I just kind of put the whole thing out of my head, and then I got a phone call from my manager saying. Um, was I available that weekend because they might want to use me for the show. And I'm thinking just like maybe background vocals or whatever. But um, I got a call the next day saying that they gave me the role of Mark Henry. And I was just like over the moon. Like I couldn't, I I was saying a lot of four letter words that I probably can't say on the radio. (laughs) But (laughs) yeah, needless to say, I was very happy. I'm familiar with those four letter words. And when used with joy, it's an amazing experience. (laughs) Very, very amazing experience. (laughs) So I'm curious to know how do you how do you get in the the mind frame of Mark Henry? Did you have to watch any footage of him, or did you even get to um, talk to him? Oh uh, well, like I obviously like I grew up watching wrestling, so I remember Mark Henry when he was you know the sexual chocolate and like when he was with the Nation of Domination. So I was like kind of familiar with him already, um, but I didn't really know much about outside of like Olympic weightlifting. I didn't really know much about his personal life. So I YouTubed him and I kind of like looked him up on Wikipedia just to kind of like get a uh, feel from I did not realize this that when he was in the fourth grade he was five foot seven and two hundred and twenty five pounds. That's crazy. I thought that was absolutely yeah, like I thought that was absolutely like amazing. So I just sort of like used like the knowledge I, I learned from him, you know, to my advantage. And um, unfortunately, I didn't get to meet him, but I've been so familiar with him like my whole life that it was pretty um, easy to sort of play a, a, a lovable big guy. And they kind of play that up a little bit, I think, in the show, just from the still shots that we've seen and the previews that we've seen, because obviously it hasn't debuted yet, but they've been putting out all right. kinds of materials for it. I think he's got a beard right. and everything. Yeah, he's got a beard. He's got a really, really, really big smile. And I think, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if... <laughs> I, I, I've only seen a few pictures of Mark Henry in real life, but he's, you know, I, I, for me, I know I smile very big in real life, so I don't know if they use any of that um, <laughs> in the animation, but I definitely um, can see a little resemblance of myself. And I'm not even like a big guy, but I think the smile is what is the thing that really just kind of made me just laugh out loud to myself. <laughs> well, that's important. I mean, the fact that there's a little bit of you and there's a little bit of him and it's a good mix. And I always, I'm not, I'm an artist, but I'm not an animator, right. so I'm I'm semi familiar with the process, but not completely. But it always makes me really happy when I see that they take the the qualities of the voice actor and put them into the character a little bit. Cause it oh, just absolutely! Makes it, I think that's what makes it more fun. Yeah, it makes it so genuine, and it's like you get to see that person smile or get to see that person's um, 
reactions in the character and it just makes it that much more believable, which is really cool. Because Absolutely. When you're dealing with cartoons, it's really not believable, but you, you kind of want yeah. to be. <laughs> even, exactly. even, in, <laughs> even in an adult situation, you want it to be somewhat believable. Uh, so oh, and there are, there are plenty of those in this show. I was going to say, so what, what can we expect from Camp WWE? Because it's being touted as an adult animated series. Yes, yes. Uh, the best way, I think, I think Seth said it best himself, um, it, it's sort of like South Park meets Archer. If anyone's not familiar with Archer, it's on FX. It's a really funny show. You should check it out. But yeah, it's like a combination of the, both of those shows. So I think most of us are familiar with South Park and how crass it can be, you know, in terms of like the language and subject matter. And then sort of the wit of Archer in terms of the uh, delivery. I was going to say, I think I've seen from the previews, Ric Flair going to like a strip club and Vince McMahon pulling a bra out. And, you know. Oh, just get ready. Vince McMahon, <laughs> like when I got the scripts for this show, like I was reading them at home and I was legitimately laughing out loud. I was like, I hope everyone else finds this as funny as, as we all do. But I can definitively say Vince McMahon will steal the show. He is so funny on it like all of his lines are just they're, they're comedy gold just oh, get, really? get ready <laughs> just get I was just on the floor laughing did you record individually or did you guys do it in a group or how does that whole process kind of work yeah for, for this year we record individually so it's just me in the booth by myself and then um seth and aaron are on the other side and there's a, a few other people on the other side as well and they just they you know you kind of like go over the lines over and over again and they, what, what i really found funny because yeah, as an actor i really love to improvise and just sort of like go off the rails a little bit they really love that kind of stuff so i got to improvise quite a bit so i don't even know all of what they're going to use you know what i mean mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. when i watch this with all of you guys i'm going to be watching it for the first time too so I'm very curious to see what they're going to keep and what, you know, will stay the same. Right. I, I can imagine. Now, this is just me because I have to ask this and because okay. yeah. I'm going to confess I've never met a voice actor before. So Really? Yes. Yeah, so I have to know, is it weird to hear your voice or see it in the in the cartoons or in the in the movies like that? Or is it are well, you just kind of used well, to it? Or? Well, I will be perfectly honest. This is actually the first voiceover acting job i've ever had oh really and it's yes this is my debut so (laughs) i've always wanted to do yeah i know and i I could i couldn't have picked i could have been fortunate enough to be selected for an awesome role because i've always wanted to do voiceover acting and you know a a lot of friends are growing up said like oh you have a really good voice like you should really use that and i never really kind of took that to heart i kind of just brush it off like time after time and then i saw like I, one day i was just like i really i think i really want to give this a try i think i'd be really good at it and then i saw the audition for this and i was like oh this is perfect like wrestling like voiceover it's gonna be comedy it's with Seth green i emailed my manager i said can you get me an audition for this i think i would be really good for this and obviously, the rest is history. Obviously, and I mean, you, you're you clearly the perfect part for Mark Hamper. I can't wait to hear it. So, Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, I'm personally excited for this. It's You've been seeing it, and you've been seeing the teasers on the network, and you're kind of not sure what it's going to be. And then they've been kind of releasing more and more materials, and you're seeing yeah. all the wrestlers as these little kids, and it's like, oh, this is going to be cool. This is going to be so cool. And then, cool. of course, like we've all been waiting for it because, you know, obviously they had to delay the show because of, you know, CM Punk's um, leaving the WWE and, you know, yeah. the unfortunate thing with Hulk Hogan. So, yeah. you know, we won't go there. But, so, <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time coming. And, you know, I've been with the show since September, the end of September. Yeah, so I've been working on it for quite some time. So I'm, like, just as... The fans are, are excited to see this. I'm just as excited to see it as well. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know about anybody else. I can't express enough. I can't wait. So you said that this is your first voiceover job. So I'm yes. curious to know, what other projects might we have seen you in? Uh, well, <laughs> well, as we all know, L.A. is very tough. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I was... Um, I've just sort of been like on end jobs as well. I also dance professionally as well as... Um, acting so I, I do a lot of stage shows and i was on an episode of um a show on um discovery investigation discovery i think it was called um oh i actually don't even remember the name of the show <laughs> but i i 
<laughs> but I played a paramedic, and, and I just had a, a couple of scenes and whatnot. But uh, in addition to this, I also do a, a internet-based radio show every Monday on okay. a Z420. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's with I, I co-host it with two um, two friends of mine. Uh, one is uh, she's a transgender, and the other one is a drag queen. So we um, we we sort of talk about just everything going on in the world and just everything that kind of happened that week. So it's kind of a really interesting show, and so it's a new- very unique perspective from all of us because we all have three very different personalities. Oh, I bet. What's the name of the show? I'd love to go listen to it. Uh, it it's called uh, Spill the Tea. And it's on Z420.tv or Z420.com. When did, they literally just changed their network name about like a, a couple of days ago. So I'm still sort of getting used to <laughs> telling people Z420. And I'm like, oh, wait, it's not T Radio anymore. Yeah. So it's either Z420.tv or Z420.com. Okay. Well, I can okay. remember the Z420, so I can look that up. So I look forward to listening okay. to that. that. That sounds oh, thank awesome. You. So Evan... I want to say thank you yes. so much for joining us. Thank and you everybody. so much for having me. So everybody, you can follow Evan on Twitter at Evan Michael Lee and check out Camp WWE premiering May 1st on demand on the WWE Network. Yeah, and feel free to tweet me if, uh, you know, tell me what you think of the show for anyone out there. Oh, we will. Because I, I, tweet, I, I tweet everyone back. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, and I can't, I can't express enough. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I'm so excited, too, because I don't know if anyone saw USA Today, but they put a four-and-a-half-minute behind-the-scenes look at Camp WWE. And it has, it has Aaron and Seth talking about the show. And, you know, you see clips of, like, Vincent Mann and Sergeant Slaughter and The Godfather and, you know, Triple H doing his own voice. And they show a few of us kind of doing our own voices and whatnot. But it's on YouTube. It's on USA Today. So if anyone wants to check that out, you can see a little bit more in depth of the show. And I promise you, it will get you so hyped and so pumped for the show. Like I'm just as excited as everyone else. I can't wait. I can't wait either. So Evan, thank you so much once again for joining us. Greatly. Thank you so much. Don't forget everyone. Follow Evan on Twitter at Evan Michael Lee. And don't forget camp WWE premieres this Sunday. May 1st, on demand on the WWE Network. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be awesome. Right? Yeah. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Come on. you got to be more peppy. I gotta I'm bring, excited. i got to bring more some spirit to the table. All right. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be amazeballs. We're going to be the spirit squad for Camp WWE. Let's hope we don't end up in a box. I'm not ending up in a box. You're not ending up in a box? I don't want to be put in the box. Okay, we're not going in the box, y'all. We're not going in the box, but everybody, come out of the box and watch Camp WWE, because like we keep saying, it's going to be hilarious, it's going to be awesome, and apparently Vince steals the show. From every teaser I've seen, it looks amazing, and I can't wait to watch it this Sunday, on the band, on the WWE Network. But I say we're done, what do you think? I say we're done, too. 